Hi guys, this is Ravi and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Python Freaks once again. So this is the second video which I am posting on YouTube and the topic of this video is must have skill for an automation engineer in 2021. So this video will be particularly helpful for those guys who are confused as in what skill should an automation engineer have. And this video will also be helpful for someone who is working in some other areas or domain other than testing but are interested in knowing what are the current roles and responsibilities of an automation engineer. So without any further delay, let's start with our video today. So the first one on the list, which is needless to mention, is knowing a scripting language. Now with respect to scripting language, there are two very important points which you should always keep in mind. First is you don't need to be a total pro in that particular language. Having a decent knowledge is enough. Rather than you should focus more on understanding the test requirement followed by the test case design. The second point to consider here with respect to scripting languages, don't waste too much time in selecting which is the best programming language. No language is too good, no language is too bad. So based on your area of interest and your comfort, you can choose any language. But based on the latest market trend, I would suggest either go with Java, Python or C Sharp. But if you are a newbie, I would suggest go for Python as the syntax is pretty simple. And when you are starting a career in test automation, you should focus more on how fast you can understand the test case requirement followed by the test case design and ultimately followed by the automation of the same. The second one on the list is Selenium. With Selenium, I would suggest better have a basic knowledge of it and also some hands-on as it's not a very complex language to deal with. There are many free resources available for it. And reason why I'm strongly recommending to learn Selenium is because when it comes to web automation, there is hardly any competition available for Selenium. Now, coming to the third skill, which is knowledge of the database. So irrespective of which project or domain you are working on, you will be directly or indirectly involved in some kind of database work. It can be some small validation or updation, but some amount of work will definitely be there. So why not have a basic understanding of database and its tool? Some of the options which is available to you in the market are SQL, PostgreSQL, SQLite DB, and the list goes on. But as per my suggestion, you should go for SQL as this is the most widely used database and the syntax are pretty simple. Now coming to the fourth point, which is basic DevOps skill. So irrespective you are working as an automation tester, QA or developer, you need to have the basic DevOps skills, especially the CI CD pipeline. Nowadays all the automation scripts are integrated with Jenkins. So for running, monitoring, and analyzing the failure in Jenkins, you should have the basic understanding of CI CD pipeline. Along with this, having knowledge of Docker, Kubernetes, and containerization is also required in many cases. Since slowly we are moving towards microservice architecture, so having an overview of Docker, container, and Kubernetes will give your career a huge boost. Now, coming to the last but definitely not the least point, which is good understanding of Linux. Now, let's say currently even if you are working in a Windows based environment, in that case also you should have basic knowledge of Linux which includes CURD operation of files in Linux, installing and updating test packages. Nowadays, most of the apps are hosted in Linux environment. So knowing about the Linux OS, their commands will help you quickly set up your test environment. And also there is one key feature which Linux has to offer, which we call as cron job which is nothing but scheduling a task or a job to run at any point of time without any manual intervention. So with this, I would like to end my video and would like to thank you all for watching the video till the very end. Do let me know in the comment section below about how the video was or if there is any particular topic with respect to software testing, automation or Python, which you want a video to be made on. Thank you.